All right, we're going to say shalom to everyone. Thank the most high for another day. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to get into this this actual thing again, uh, this hidden information about this 365-day calendar. Uh, like I said, I'm under some type of attack when it comes down to the information and, uh, you know, the computer been acting crazy. So I, I guess this is very groundbreaking for those who, <clears throat> excuse me, have been believing this for a long time. It's totally false. 365 days is impossible to multiply 52 times 7 because they say the weeks, you know, they're 52 weeks in a year, okay? Uh, 52 times 7, you know, 7 days in a week, 52 times 7 is 364 days, okay? So I'm going to go through the information real quick on how they uh, broke the information from the Enoch calendar. They want people to stop following the holy living customs of the children of Israel that's supposed to be able that's supposed to execute the most highest laws, statutes, and commandments. <clears throat> so if you break the law, statutes, and commandments and you break the code of the years, you know, days, months, things of that nature, Satan can use you in another frequency. That's what's that's why the whole world is out of out of course. And I'm gonna continue to say that because the people of the book stop break you know you know started to not follow the law statutes and commandments so let's go to daniel chapter 7 verses uh verse 25 daniel 7 verse 25 and it says and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hands until the time and the times and the dividing of time so we know that the enemy through these different beasts will uh think to change the times and the laws you know what people i mean everywhere you go every civilization of people you go to another country they got a different time you go over here they got another calendar all these different times they shall think to wear out the saints think to change the times and the laws so that should make people understand where does this 365 day thing come from i'm going to go into some real groundbreaking information on that in a few minutes okay now, first of all, we got to understand this. A circle is 360 degrees, okay? What the Most High does is show you a microcosm of what things are. Like if you draw a small circle in, 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 on a piece of paper right now, if you put points of contacts on that piece of paper, you can make a square, which is the four corners of the earth and I'm gonna show you how that breaks down angels are actually keeping things in order right now because of the 12 tribes of Israel all right that's that's Revelation chapter 7 verse 1 you can you all can read matter of fact let me go ahead and not paraphrase I'm gonna read revelations so I can show you that and I'm gonna show you that the earth itself is a circle that's revelations let's go to Revelation chapter 7 verse 1 Okay, Revelation 7 and 1. And it says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So we got to understand something. Once Adam and Eve blew it, Certain things were set in place. So once it's time, boom, certain things is going to happen to the earth. It's going to be destroyed, but it's a process. All right. Verse three says, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. These are the so-called black people, the Hispanics, the Latinos, the Guatemalans, all the 12 tribes. I just named a few. OK, the main tribe that I'm going to talk about is the tribe of uh, Issachar, which is Enoch. OK, Enoch is from that tribe. If when when there were tribes, if there were tribes being set in place at during his time, he would he would be he is in the lineage of 
uh, that particular tribe. Now, the thing about that is they deal with the Mayan calendar and all that. The reason why they deal with that is because they were given certain spiritual gifts, even though they start going left field, messing with Satan, dealing with the Mayan calendar and all the 2012 thing. And to some degree, I'm going to tell you, it still isn't 2012. OK, this is so-called 2014. You got you got six more years to your real 2012. OK, what they do is they set in place certain the, you have to decode Satan. I don't want to go too far off the topic, but if you got 2020 vision, which is clear vision, that's your really 12, your 2012. OK, so don't think nothing ain't going to happen because something didn't happen because of the Mayan calendar. They still have certain gifts to understand the stars. Now, Enoch was given this information and the Most High blessed him and gave him that gift to break down the information on how when the, when the portals that the sun go through different seasons, the way the moon operate and wrote uh, and, and and deal be, with the with the sun and the moon. The sun is considered a he in the based on the book of Enoch. I'm just giving an overview um, and the moon is considered a female spirit because opposites attract. They make energy. That's just how it go. Negative and positive. I'm not saying that a woman is negative. I'm just saying it just takes certain types of different opposites to make attractions. Now, I'm saying that because that's energy. Um, I'm trying to do this pretty fast because, I, like I said, the computer's been acting crazy. Uh, certain attacks spiritually as well based on this information. It's amazing. Now, what I want to go to, again, to understand that Enoch again was given this understanding of the of the of the calendars, the the times, the stars, things of that nature. That's considered astronomy, not astrology. Astrology is the study of the stars. To get into a bunch of witchcraft and all that, astronomy is just the study of times and seasons. That's why the Most High said that in Genesis, He give you these things for times and seasons. That's just astronomy to understand when your holy days are when Christ was a uh, star was seen in the east so you would know certain things all right just making that clear because people try to go off and think that's witchcraft is not when you're doing it the right way now where did they get this oh let me go back when I said that the earth is a circle okay the earth is a circle you got four corners of the earth which are points of context of Sabbaths to break to the next season 364 so if you got four extra days in the book of Enoch I'm going to go through this in in class you got the book of Enoch that says it goes to through the the portals so to break this down real quick as an overview you got 30 30 and the 31 boom then you're going into the next season 30 Days, 30 days, and then 31. Boom, then you're going into another season. So forth and so on. You do that four times. There you have it. That's how you get four extra days from the 360 days. The earth is a circle. Watch. That's how the the, the sun, the moon, the sun and the moon revolves around the, the earth. It ain't the earth don't revolve around the sun. See, that's what Satan make people believe. Nah, that's garbage. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter forty verse twenty-two. Isaiah forty verse twenty-two. The earth is a circle. Period. Because scriptures say it. Isaiah forty verse twenty-two. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. It is he, it is the most high that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, right? And the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. So we are as grasshoppers. We are very small to how powerful he is and how he, he's huge. That stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Verse 23 says, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. 
The reason why they're vain, he's making them to nothing because they're coming out with different types of doctrines. Uh, you know, we, you know, this is prophetic. They come out with different types of uh, beliefs, talking about 365 days in a year. That's bull garbage. And I'm going to show you where they get that from in a few minutes. But I have to go through scriptures first because that's a big claim to say that the earth is a circle. Even though you see it on a map or whatever, you see how, but they try to say it's egg shape and all that mess. No, it's a circle. Period. It's perfect and perpendicular. Perpendicular. Now, let's go to um, Genesis chapter five, verses twenty-two and twenty-three. We're gonna find out exactly where they get this three hundred sixty-five garbage from. And what they're doing is, and I'm, I'm uh, let me shut up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the scripture first. Genesis five, verse twenty. Two. And it says, And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. So the Enoch walked with the Most High. So you know there's going to be an issue with any man that walked with the Most High. Satan is going to attack everything this man do. He's going to look at everything, that, everything this person is doing to try to counteract to throw people off. That's what we got to understand. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. Verse 23, the big scripture. Remember, we got 365 days in a year. <laughs> Whatever, Satan. Verse 23, and all the days of Enoch were 365 years. 365 years, folks. You see that? 365 years. So what they did was mock Enoch's time before he translated. And that's why I want to stand corrected on the video that I had to delete because there was information. I was just going through it, going through it, thinking that the computer was going to go off. So let me read the next scripture so we can understand. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him, which means he was not dead. Because I actually said that he died, that he didn't. He was translated. Okay. Now, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. So we understand that. Hebrews and whole Genesis, because I'm about to go back there. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. And it says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. So he didn't see death. So I stand corrected. I was rushing. I should have known. Something hit me. I was like, no, hold up, hold up. No, he didn't die. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased the most high. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he hath cometh to God, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So there's certain things when you read Hebrews 11, it's talking about faith, faith, faith. But there's actions involved. People don't know that. Just because you have faith to, that a car can run, well, what purpose, what, what good is the key then if you're not going to use it? The key is what Peter was given, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. There's actions of all work to do. So we understand 365 years after that 365 year period, Enoch was translated. That's why they mock Enoch now, because they understand that at that time, all his time on earth was only 300 was 365 years. Then he, the most high translated him. OK, he didn't see death at all. That's how powerful <laughs> Enoch was. That's how. The Most High was dealing with Enoch. All that information he was giving him. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to go and show how they just, they, they, they took that 365 days and ran with it to mock Enoch. Knowing that he his, his time on earth was 365 days. Then he was translated. Okay. So I wanted to make that very clear. Like I said, I do apologize for the for that other video that I think 11 people viewed 
and hopefully they got the, the understanding and I stand corrected on saying that he died. He did not. And I knew something was wrong during the time I was putting that video up. I was like, well, something is not right about this video, but I was hungry and I'm like, let me go ahead and eat. And so there are certain things that was attacking me, the flesh. You know, I came right home and wanted to get into the information because it was hot in my head. And But sometimes it's okay to get some food and get things together. So I won't let you have it all. Um, love you all. I'll be making more videos, but I want to make sure y'all understand this. There's 52 weeks in a year, okay? 52 weeks in a year, seven days a week. 52 times seven is 364. 364, not 365. They did that 365 garbage to try to mock Enoch's translations time. Translation time. When he translated, that was the time he translated, 365 days. So they believe that they can just mock him and talk, you know, because they know that he was given this information. That's why Satan set up people to wear out the saints in Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, where it says to think to change the times and the laws. OK, when you look at this diagram that I wrote here. There's a circle that I wrote and you notice I put Isaiah 40 and 22 there because that's where it talks about the earth as a circle. The four corners of the earth are these points of contacts. These points of contacts, I'm not going to say that that's where the angels that's holding the winds are, but I can guarantee you this. They are on the corners like you play zone defense in a, a basketball game. They're, they're holding those corners. They're, they're holding certain forces back, certain winds of disaster and, dis and, and cataclysmic situations on the earth based on the ceiling of the 12 tribes of Israel, the head tribe, the, I mean, 144,000 that will be leaders. That's the reason why I posted earlier that there is a specific people and there's four angels right now that's being held back uh, from destroying this earth. Okay? 30, 30, 31, you go into the next season. When you do that four times from a circle, which is 360, you got four extra days based on the different seasons. And once you break another season, you add a day, not 365. That's garbage. There you have it. Shalom.